Hey everyone, this is the Spoon Dude back with another DC custom action figure video. This time we're taking a look at my Hawk Girl figure. This figure uses the Marvel Legends uh, dagger figure as sort of the main body with wings and mace from the Mattel DC Multiverse Hawkman figure from I think Legends of Tomorrow and it's not a great figure. So I was happy to use his wings and mace. And then the head is a uh, Marvel Legends White Rabbit with uh, just a bit of her, uh, blah, 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 a bit of hair from Marvel Legends uh, Winter Soldier. All right, so uh, Hawk Girl is obviously um, one of the main members of the original Justice League team from the animated series, which is, in my opinion, the definitive um, Justice League lineup. So of course I had to make her since I've already made everyone else from that team. Um, and it took me forever to make this, but I finally got around to finishing it. Uh, which is something I think I've been saying with pretty much every custom now. Whatever. Alright, let's start with the head. Like I said, Marvel Legends White Rabbit. I took off uh, White Rabbit's original hair. It was nicely sculpted, but it was just way too big um, for the wings. So that's sort of something I had to sort of figure out. Um, her hair couldn't be too long since it would hit that peg where the, um, the uh, DC Multiverse wings uh, were plugged into the body. I actually had to make that hole myself, obviously, since uh, Dagger doesn't originally come with wings. <clears throat> Alright. I sculpted the helmet, and um, I was looking mainly at the animated series design, since it's a nice sort of simplified version of it. Um, it's not, you know, too elaborate sculpting here, just sort of the form of it. And then I sculpted the, um, the edge of this kind of upper piece over the black. Sculpted the pieces going down on her face, got the um, edges of the mask around the eyes as well. Uh, I was careful not to um, plug up her nose, if that makes sense, so that you can still see the, her nose from the bottom. Um, and yeah, you can see also got the sort of feathery edge on the sides and the three lines at the top. I could have been, you know, a little bit cleaner with the sculpt, maybe a little bit more symmetrical. But I'm still pretty happy with it. After I sculpted it, I did try to sand it down to make it smooth. Um, but it's still not crazy smooth. But I think the paint job hides any sort of imperfections fairly well. And uh, speaking of the paint job, um, for the face, I basically painted it the same way as my other faces. Uh, kind of base of a um, pinker skin tone and then dry brushing of a lighter skin tone on top so that there's a little bit of depth there then sculpt, uh, painted all the face details as well like the lips and the eyes the black is sort of a uh, gunmetal black there so there's shininess to that uh, the earrings are just the basic gold and then the kind of main part of it is also gold but it's mixed with just a little bit of red and that sort of gives it the more uh, accurate kind of bronze color that I'm really happy with and you can see it's nice and shiny I, I then put a you know clear coat on top of that just to seal everything in. The uh, rest of the figure was fairly straightforward from there. Sculpted the edges of the boots and then the belt. It's very simple, just sort of, um, you know, just a you know basic line basically, and then a circle and another circle. Very basic, but it does a job. Uh, the design I went with here isn't uh, one particular design. It's sort of the modern Hawk Girl costume, which I know. In the comics, uh, Hawk Girl has been different characters, um, but to me, she'll always be Shara Hall from the animated series. But anyways, um, I was obviously looking at the modern design, but I also like to think of this as sort of a combination of her original costume from the animated series and her Justice League Unlimited uh, costume, where she's just wearing that sort of yellow top and then pants. So I feel like that's kind of what I was going for, just uh, combining the two there. And it uh, ended up looking like the modern comic design anyways. Alright, uh, that's the main figure. The wings are, um, like I said, the Hawkman wings, which I primed black. And then uh, dry brushed the gray. Um, I was kind of careful in how I dry brushed it. I wanted to sort of be, uh, put a little bit more thought in the paint job than just haphazardly dry brushing the whole thing one color. You'll notice it gets sort of darker towards the bottom which is the exactly the effect I wanted it to have. Uh, sort of, you know, with the way the light works, um, it'll obviously be lighter at the top compared to the bottom. So that's sort of the effect I wanted to give it. And then just to add more to that, I did dry brush just a little bit of white 
just at the top few feathers. And I think you can see that better from the front. You can see that sort of white frostiness just at the top. And um, really wanted that to sort of uh, highlight the sculpt there. So let me know what you guys think of that paint job. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think, well, the figure just fell off her wings. Uh, you'll notice I didn't glue the wings in. I thought about doing that, but just for like practical reasons, if I ever have to move or put this in storage, I feel like it'll be easier if I can plug the wings in and out. Uh, but I don't know, who knows? I might glue them just so that they're more sturdy within the figure. We'll see. But yeah, like I, said, like I was saying, I'm really happy with the sculpt of the uh, Mattel wings here. There's some really nice sort of lines all throughout the feathers. And I think my paint job highlights them a little bit better or a lot better than, um, you know, just the base plastic that it originally was. Um, and then, oh, I didn't, I guess I really didn't talk about the paint job of the body. Uh, the skin tone, same as the face, basically, starting with a pinker skin tone, dry brushing the lighter color on top. Um, it's not crazy noticeable on camera, but uh, the lighting is so bright. But there is just a little bit of, um, you know, more depth. You can kind of see it just that where it meets the edge of the belt there. Uh, some of the original pinker skin tone kind of showing up, highlighting, highlighting the sculpt just a little bit. And then the pants are a um, blue mixed with yellow and black to get this green color. And I mixed uh, different ratios here and there to get uh, lighter colors that I could dry brush on top of the darker ones. And then the boots are just red with the gold line there. Uh, but yeah, that's Hawk Girl. Um, pretty happy with this. Like I said, uh, it took me a little bit of a while to finish it. But I, I'm finally done with it. And um, pretty excited to have... Uh, my Justice League lineup finished. I won't show them all here. I'll bring them out for a separate video just so I can get a few more views out of these figures. But uh, just to tease you guys, here she is with a Green Lantern, who of course is her love interest in the series. Um, pretty happy with how those look. And just to throw in one more, let's get Wonder Woman in. And I'm pretty happy with how those two look together. Uh, so yeah, that's my Hawk Girl figure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, do all of that. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Uh, look forward to my future video uh, where I'll put all my Just League members together. And until um, next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.